New into stocking, we have what I'd describe as an honest little car. It's a Seat Ibiza 1.4 Sport Rider 5 door. It's a 2012 on a 12 plate. It's done 32,750 miles and it's got a service book with seven stamps in the book. We've taken it off, uh, I was going to say an old lady, but she's probably about the same age as me. Um, it's, it's a really nice car. There's a couple of little marks on the, the front bumper there, which we'll just touch in, and a couple of wheel edges. Apart from that, the rest of the car is like brand new. Fuel economy, 35.5 urban, 60.1 extra urban, and uh, combined is 47.9. A 0-62 to time of 11.8 seconds and a top speed of 110 miles per hour. Road tax, six months is 77 pounds and 12 months is 140. It's a, it's a good specification um, and a, a lovely solid car to, to, to drive. Make a good second car or, or a good car for somebody who's just passed the test. Insurance should be fairly cheap too. We've got the twin spoke alloy wheels. Just uh, put this away. Finished in, I, I would assume, polar white, brilliant white, whatever you, you want to call white these days. But a uh, really nice car. Tinted windows, privacy glass at the back. It's uh, matte finish around the windows. Rear wash wipe. Good size boot space. We've got split folding rear seats, uh, 60-40 load cover just show you in the back nice handy little five door um, full disclosure I've had to put my seat forward I've not recovered from getting out of that Peugeot the other day but this reasonable headroom um, I'd, I'd probably have to have my seat further back than that but there's probably uh, about four inches before it would touch my knees, so I'm, I'm still all right. Um, with the headrest up, that's above my shoulders and I, I can sit further back. It's, uh, it's nice, good. It doesn't look like it's been sat in in the back. You've got, let's see if I can just do this. That will fold down. Let's see. Take the headrest out like so and that will fold down that needs to go forward a bit there we go now you may have noticed that the uh, the last few cars we've done aren't as clean as they normally are that's because we've been so busy just recently that cars have been selling before we've actually advertised them and therefore Lance's priority is to do sold cars and of course it's, it's like a machine we have to keep videoing them to get them on the website so hence this is just as it came in which is a credit to the previous owner but uh, you may notice a, a little bit of dust around which isn't normally on our cars but that's it I'll just take you for driving it Remote central locking, proper ignition key, with a blade that goes in an ignition lock. And we'll get the air, oops, turn that off. And turn the air conditioning down, it's warm today. There we go, just uh, turn the fan down a bit so it doesn't make too much noise. So, we've got seven service stamps in the book. That's just uh, and a proper service book. First service. 8th the 3rd 2013 at 8176 Marshall Sayat. Next service 22nd the 3rd 2014 at 15616 Marshall Sayat. Then we've got 15th the 5th 2014 at 17357 and that was done at Sturgis Aylston Road Leicester. Second and second, 2015, 19,887. That was done at Holmes Garage, Lost a Call, close to us. 
17th March 2016 at 23900 Chapel Lane Garage, John Southers and Sons, again a, a good local garage uh, to us. Then 14th to the 3rd 2017 MVS Auto Services, that's at Leyland, 27479. And then back to Holmes Garage again, just done 13th to the 3rd 2018 at 31,036. Um, so good little service history, been well looked after, serviced way before it needed to be really. Um, actually, <laughs> the seat goes a long way back in here. It's uh, there's plenty of room. Okay, and as usual, I've forgotten. There you go. Height and reach adjustable steering wheel. It's a well-designed steering wheel as well, and uh, the, the switch gear around it, I can see clearly the uh, indicator stalk and the wiper stalk above there, and I can even, I can partially see the telephone control and the audio control there. So uh, I'm assuming I'd be using them less than I'd be using the wipers and the windscreen washers. Let's just see, just need to get a bit more comfortable here. There we go. Right. Looks like it's got an auto dimming mirror. CD radio. So the air conditioning is uh, a plus in these little cars. And it's a five door. So a uh, very, very handy little vehicle. Lots of three doors about, but uh, especially uh, if you've got young children and you need to put them in kiddie seats in the back. It can be a pain leaning in through a three door, whereas a five door you're just straight in. A lot easier. And also uh, a lot easier to get them out without tipping all the passengers out in the front to drop them off at school or whatever. Nice design, as I say, steering wheel. It's uh, three spoke sport. It's kind of aluminium effect finish there which also matches the instrument surround and your door handles 1.4 engine pretty nippy I have to stop saying that I even annoy myself proper handbrake you've got your auxiliary in here and also USB I think it is two little plugs there headlamps are on the right electric door mirrors we'll just try them get around the roundabout first Drivers, door mirror works fine. Yeah, passenger is working. When there's just one driver, they, sometimes this just sees up. They've been set once and uh, never moved since. But these are working fine. Two front electric windows and the rear ones are uh, wind up. The, uh, Air con is nice and cold. In fact, it's very cold. Five speed gearbox. You've got your global locking switches there and also your heated rear screen. Your rear wash wipe as well. We'll just check the wipers. Yeah, the wipers are fine. I'd be very surprised if there was anything wrong with this car because the lady it's come off you could tell she was very fastidious the way she dealt with us and uh, the way she examined the car that we were selling her which is uh, is good to see just move over and let this Volvo by
nice handling little car. A very, very good reputation now. Good, reliable, well-built cars. Part of the VW group. Something's going to happen here, I can see. Somebody... No! Idiot. No excuse. No excuse. And uh, three penalty points. Not to the guy who's going too slow in the outside lane either. Brakes are good, brakes in a straight line. I was gonna say there's no wobbles or that, but that's actually that section of road there where the whole car vibrates. It's the road, not the uh, not the brakes or the discs. There's no, uh, there's certainly nothing feeding back through the pedal or the steering wheel. Just see if it's clear up the M6. Nice gearbox, nice light clutch. Try the brakes here where it's fairly smooth. Yep, nothing. Straight line, no problems. And, uh, we'll whip down the motorway. Actually, I just noticed it has got a good, good little spec. This it's uh, cruise control. See, there we go. Switch on the top to knock it on, and then set the speed here. See if we can just increase it. Yes, we can. So I'll we'll try and get that up to 70. I'll change it to fifth first. And, uh, this chap's just determined to spoil my run at 70 miles an hour. They're all out today. So there we go, just clicked it on 70. We're doing 3,000 revs in fifth gear. And uh, just get going a bit more. Rev counter on the left here, the information panel or display in the centre there, your uh, fuel computer, and speedo on the right. Nice and quiet, nice and smooth. We uh, never just like being behind anybody with things like that on the roof rack. Some people can't even tie their shoelaces, let alone put a canoe on the top. And certainly the, the drag where people sit in the canoe um, must put a tremendous strain on those straps. straps to me don't look very secure at all. Anyway, back to the car. It's a lovely car. 
we will be cleaning it well just giving it a it only needs a kind of tickle over but it, it does need uh, further valeting and uh, I must apologize that we haven't got around to it already but the car's only just come in anyway and we're just extremely busy no I really really don't know what this person's going to do they're indicating to go left when technically they weren't there you go great steering every every grid old Mercedes in front would get out of the way we could uh, zoom on car's got Bluetooth hands free it's uh, not tricky to set up but unless you read the book then um, you've got to do it with the ignition turned on but not the engine running so I'll show you how to do that when we get back to the garage it doesn't stream audio from your phone but it does have Bluetooth hands-free car line there Mr Coolshaw's set up if you want to lease one or contract hire go to him if you want to buy one come to us he nearly had a three door then Bumpy road this and uh, uneven and poorly surfaced but it's not uh, too much of a problem in this uh, little car. Certainly shouldn't take too long to sell this.
So your cruise control is there on the left on your indicator stalk. There is your telephone and audio. I'll just uh, radio works. It's also a little sign there saying it will play MP3, so you can make your own CDs. cup holder here, two cup holders there, good, uh, good size door pocket, the seats, grey outside or dark grey outside bolsters with uh, kind of a diamond pattern inlay. Hard plastic dash, but uh, looks nice and neat with a kind of stippled effect. And, uh, same with the door cards. Lovely car to drive. There, the, the end of the wiper stalk, you can change the display on your uh, information panel there. 